How's it going, everybody? My name is Cynical, and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. So, quick update there is a poll now live in the community tab in my YouTube channel. So, go ahead and check that out. That poll is specifically for what I am going to be replacing Fata Morgana with. So, yeah, um, go check what's in that listing choose what I should do next and obviously the one that wins is what I'm going to be doing for how many foresee foreseeable weeks um, there are quite a few options that are short in length like maybe one two maybe even three weeks worth of videos so um, if that ends up getting picked and that's how long it takes obviously then what's going to happen next after that is a new poll will be up all right, so uh, with no new option though. All right, so same options as before, just without the one that obviously got picked in the first pool. So easily done, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right on in from where we last left off. Which, by the way, if you have not watched the previous videos leading up to this one, as always, there is a link in the in the description box down below that will bring you to the playlist. Go ahead and check that out. And, uh, yeah, go to continue. The mountain dogs started marching, spreading out in a line with a few meters between them. This mountainside was a savage land where not even the villagers would dare tread. There were some trails, but no paved roads for human beings. It required an enormous amount of diligence and patience to hunt on a mountain like this. All the dogs were very nervous. They were told that most of their enemies were children, but there were a few well-trained adults with them as well. In addition, they were supposedly armed quite heavily, and they knew the layout of the terrain quite well. True. It was obviously going to be a rough, tough battle. Ruffle on tuffle. True. The numbers game is sometimes advantageous, yeah. Is that what they say? Is that what they say? That's not a normal saying that I've heard of, but eh, if you say so. Maybe back then. Who knows? Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. It doesn't work in smaller scale battles like this one. Right. The U.S. armed forces proved that in the Vietnam War. Whatever works, okay. どのくらいが適正な兵力なの多分。ここに逃げ込んだからには彼らのテリトリーでしょう。地の利が十分な子供一人はよく訓練された教習偵察隊一個小隊に匹敵しますんで。サンサが考えてますより相当厄介な相手ですわ。He's actually thought this out well. I like that. それを制圧するのに 
どの程度の兵力が必要だっていうの I can tell she's slightly irritated. <laughs> Sangaku Hohe na ikko shidan. Ah, shidan te no wa yamai nu ga mitsu yo tsuku tsui te daitai. So it's ga sara ni mitsu yo tsuku tsui te lentai. So it's ga sara ni mitsu yo tsuku tsui te shidan desu ne. Sanju bai no hei ryuk ga shitsu yo da to yu no? Mochiron sore dake ja tarimase. ほうへいじんちにようせいしてやまほどのじぜんほうげきがひつようですわこうくうしえんがえられるならファントムにナパームもばらまかせたいところです What the fuck? <laughs> you know what this is, right? It's not the actual, like, war. It's not actual war. It, uh, I, 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 what? <laughs> Hello? じょうだんじゃないわそんなへいりょくここにはないわ Is he having like fucking flashbacks or something? Is he going through PTSD? <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god, this guy's crazy. <laughs> that confirms it. <laughs> Alright. Okinogi laughed boldly. He said it wouldn't be easy, but he also seemed to be implying that he was on the only one capable of doing it. Okay, well, he's gone crazy. He's gone crazy. He's cuckoo. He's gone cuckoo for capturing kids. <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? As Takano listened to Okunogi's explanation, She felt a little anxious. When she pretended to be friendly with Satoko a long time ago, she used to tell Takano all about her mountain. Takano remembered how Satoko told her about all kinds of traps she'd set up, but she couldn't recall. Well, that comes with old age. You start forgetting things. I know. <laughs> Getting too old for this shit. Which mountain Satoko was talking about? Well, you better start remembering. I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep searching there, buddy. Ugui's, <laughs> <laughs> and we're back with this group. Alright. The hell kind of shack is this? What the fuck? Some fallen trees were leaning, uh, leaning against a much larger pine tree, forming a natural scaffold. A small hut, made out of plywood, had been built on top of them. It was one of Satoko's many secret bases. Ah. It wasn't a perfect spot. And sh uh, since. Since? What? <laughs> since Mion could see the foot of the mountain well. I guess we will. かな。なあ、に全部が。向こうの指揮官は無能だね。私たちを攻めるなら、山岳訓練を終了したベテラン歩兵が一個師団はいるね。それをせいぜい中退規模でとはね。未熟にも程があるよ。さて、何人が私た
<laughs> this is like the plot of Home Alone, except a little bit larger scale. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's not happening on Christmas time. Sag. Oh my god, those kids could have almost those kids could have almost almost committed murder. You heard him right, you heard him. They would have almost died. Murder! Well that sounds like a you problem. Chaotic radio transmissions came in one after another. Obviously, Okanogi had been wrong about the mountain dogs being in an advantage position. Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks for them. <laughs> やめろ。俺を後ろから突き飛ばしやがった。うぐいす9 上空に無人機の影はないぞ。<笑> かくらんしてトラップで絡め取ろうってんだな。白崎は用心しろ。向こうはお前らをトラップ地帯に帯びき寄せるつもりだ。敵は確固に分散し、誘導と奇襲のゲリラ戦術で抵抗してくる気だ
The more of his trapped fellows he saw, the more he wasn't sure if the girl he was after was really a girl. Rude. My lord. It was just something that looked like one. Oh my god. What are you assuming? So rude. He reached an area where logs were stacked up, up in uh, piles. I don't see no logs in this part here, but uh, no, well, whatever. It seemed like the trees in the area were being chopped down. Oh. It was a rather strange scene. On his way here, Skylark 13 saw a member from a different unit hanging upside down from a tree. Unlucky for him. And he also saw feet sticking out of a pitfall. There was a member whose foot was tied to the root of the tree with a device that looked like a pair of handcuffs. He reached this area after seeing all of them. He suddenly started sweating all over his body, for Skylock 13 realized that he had been lured into a trap. Get fucked. <laughs> he had been caught in a snare. She had tricked him. The girl was standing in the middle of the open area, calmly balancing on a stump. <laughs> she was simply looking at him. Come on, I dare you to come after me, you fucking bastards! Shit, he thought. She's trying to lure me in. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god! That is very rude, mister. Very accurate. <laughs> oh, really? It was only 10 meters. If he walked about 10 meters, he could catch the bratty little girl. I thought she wasn't a girl, huh? Make up your mind, you bastard. How many steps did he have to take to walk 10 meters? I don't know. Can you do the math there, buddy? If he took 10 steps uh, to walk 10 meters, that meant there would be 10 more chances of stepping on a trap. But it was only 10 steps. He can catch her after taking just 10 steps. Come on! Do it, pussy! Do it! Oh? She's egging you on. Fall for it! Do it! Start walking. How was he going to take his first step? That area with weeds looked suspicious. <laughs> oh yeah? Do the weeds look sussy to you? Do they look sussy to you? Are they amongst us? <laughs> okay. But the bare ground looked suspicious too. The whole area looked sus. Weird. Very weird. What if he jumped onto a tree stump? No, no. That was what she wanted him to do. Was it? Cold sweat was dripping off of Skylark 13's body. He only needed to take 10 steps. So why was he so nervous about taking the first one? Oh wow, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a forest that had the trees cut down with the stumps left there. What? Do you do you all know a concept of, the, of, a, of a forest? <laughs> what the fuck? Of course there are going to be many stumps. God damn it. Oh my god. Uh. 
What bushes? I don't see no bushes. I just see tall leaves. And whatever these are, the white things. <clears throat> I mean, I guess you could just back yourself up and leave. Come on, pussy. Do something. Do something! Play the game of chance and take your first step, bitch! Do you want me to fly? Oh, yes. Fly, bitch. Grow wings! Grow wings and fly. <laughs> what is that voice? Excuse me, what? Oh my god. What the fuck? そこはトラップフィールドだと言ってるぞ。え?そのマチ構えてるコムスメの最高傑作が設置されているらしい。マグノムオプス。油断するな。What <笑> What does he mean by Magnum Opus? <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. Then what about all the other traps? Weren't they her Magnum Opus? Having to say that over and over again. Uh, cringe. We mountain dogs are professionals. We are paid to engage in battle. Yet this little girl is playing us like fools. Can we not beat her? Can't we beat that little brat? This must be the bluff. How is it possible for a trap to exist that worse? That's worse than what I've seen so far. That's a bluff. That must be a bluff. Now I'm definitely going to get her. Sure. Should I start with my right foot or my left? Oh my god. The girl suddenly lifted her head. Oh no, her hand. And thrust it at me. What the fuck? Is she trying to tell me to stop? Oh? なに何事もなくご褒美無事に歩けたらあなたの勝利ということでいいですわよ。What <笑> そうですわね。私の敗北を認めて、降参して差し上げてもよろしくってよ。Oh no. そいつは人の心を読むぞ。俺たちの叶う相手だ。What? Bro, that does not uh, okay. <laughs> can't reason with a man. You just can't. <laughs> it's all about his pride. Men. <laughs> Wait, what? A man should only say things once unless it... He's whispering words of love. <laughs> okay. この
奴に向かってゴホ進まなければならないって時点で思考を絡め取られてたぜほうほうそれはどういう意味でございますのへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへへだからあなたはゴホでおしまいなんですのよおひ,ひばりサーティーン沈黙<笑> What the fuck was that just <笑> He just stood there while it was falling on him. That's okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Ano Baka Skuri no Seraria got dead. My lord. <clears throat> Looney Tunes ass. Satago's remarkable performance wasn't just her own effort alone. Mion had mastered the geography and the enemy's formations while instructing Satako. Satako marked all of her traps on the map. When that map、uh, and Mion's ability to command combined, the club was simply unbeatable. Rika and Hanyu, who knew about the mountain almost as well as Satako, relayed orders from Mion to Keiichi or Rena. They then prepared for the ambush. The traps didn't always activate when they were supposed to. Sometimes Keiichi and the others were setting them off at the right moment.、Huh. Keiichi and Rena continued to fight everywhere according to Mion's orders. Sometimes they'd hide and sometimes they'd attack. One by one, they eliminated their enemies. Ow! My leg. Accidentally hit my desk with my leg. Ow! <laughs> But the ghost traps had been、uh, taken down most of the enemies. Good. But Keiji's surprise attacks with his bat had worked out successfully too. Damn, he has a bat? Okay. Work good, work good.、Mm -hmm. uh, not even the well trained mountain dogs could respond to attacks after being stunned by these traps. Humans need a little time to react. According to the research done by the US Armed Forces, the average reaction time is 15 seconds. In other words, any soldier is powerless during the 15 seconds followed by a surprise attack. Shortening those 15 seconds is one goal of their training. But no matter how much they train, it will never become zero. Their radio communications had actually made things much worse for them. The more they heard about damage done to the other units, the more worried they got. That slowed them down and made them think less strategically. At that point, as far as Mion was concerned, the mountain dogs were no longer a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Get wrecked, losers. Teabag, teabag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can you imagine that? Jesus Christ. They just, they just walk up to anyone, any, any person that fell off for their traps, right? They just start teabagging them. Oh my God. What is this? A Call of Duty fucking. <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> nope. Anyways. What is this? A COD lobby? Hehe! <laughs> Yippee! Five more points. <laughs> what are the points for? Wait, what? Explain! Explain! Lovelies? What the fuck? Lovelies? 
手の空いた兵士はほとんどいないってわけだまっとうな指揮官なら本部に撤退を申し入れるねこちらひばりワン隊員に負傷者多数負傷者への対応で追撃に手が回らないこれ以上の追撃は断念せざるを得ないひばりワン損害は大きいが我が方は確実に敵の行動権を狭めているぞ撤退は認めない現状兵力で戦線を維持せよくそひばりワンより全員本部から死ねと命令だ<笑>装備を再点検しろ進軍を再開するぞ<笑>でも高野さんたちは頭に血が上ってるからそれを許可しない指揮官は撤退を却下され指揮が低下したまま追撃を再開こいつは叩く絶好のチャンスだねリカちゃんレナと合流して Z 地区に誘い込んでセクション Z あそこのトラップはだいぶごっついよ Oh God no 羽生はケイちゃんに X 地区に転戦しろと連絡 X <笑>こんな面白いゲームはないね Oh God they're done for <笑> Oh God Is that a hint for something, huh? <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> Mion was a type to display exponential ability. When she's down, she's at rock bottom, but when she's in perfect form, it's just terrifying. Oh my god. That was the blood of the head of the one of the three families of Hinamizawa. If Mion had been around for a historical battle, she would have changed history. If she were to join Napoleon, Siberia would be French territory. If she were to join. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Nope. <laughs> Almost caught me lacking. And even with all that, the battle in the mountains was simply a diversion. Just as Mion had expected, everything had collapsed into chaos. If the mountain dogs could think calmly, they could have realized they hadn't seen any adults. But they didn't notice, confused as they were by all the attacks they were suffering from. Of course, that too was part of Mion's plan. The scale of the diversion would hide the effect that there was a rescue unit going to get Tametake. Therefore, the more chaotic the battle grew on the mountain, the better it was for the rescue unit. Smart. That was why she chose such an. Uh, hmm, how do you say this word again? A stentuous method of fighting? But at the same time, that was exactly the kind of fight Mion had.、Uh, Preferred. She didn't intend to let it be just a diversion. She was planning to destroy the dogs' main force on these mountains. Fireworks! <laughs> I don't know if you heard that on the mic, but. Yeah. If you heard that weird sudden bang, that was fireworks outside. Yet, most frighteningly, what of all was our home advantage? It wasn't、uh, exaggerating to say the theory that defenders have thrice the advantage over assailants is heavily due to their advantage of location. In that case, how was the rescue unit going? Were they at a disadvantage because they were on the offense? No, because they should have someone who is very familiar with the area of the building, right? So they have a bit of an advantage? The four rescue unit members, led by Erie, exactly who I was just talking about, were hiding in the bush next to the clinic. Don't they have cameras set up? I would think they do. <laughs> eh, well. That's for us to find out next time! Woohoo! Save. We just saw what the decoy unit 
thrusted out towards the enemy. And now we're about to find out next video what the rescue unit can do in order to save our big old buddy old pal, Tamatake. Oh, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there will be more Hikarashi. And once again, there is a poll up now live for you to go vote in. Alright? So, not only will I be doing Higurashi, but I will be doing something else by which you must vote in and what I will be doing alongside Higurashi. Alright? And after that gets picked out, I will rearrange my schedule and we'll see what I can do on what days. Alright, because uh, summer popped up with such a dreadful heat in my neighborhood and uh, some plans have had to be canceled and IRL life, it's its a mess. So uh, my schedule is a little off right now. I apologize. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to do as best as I can to dish out videos every week. So yeah. Uh, see you all next time for the next video. Please remember to go vote, and I'll see you all next time. See you then. Goodbye!